and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about my ACL one last time. So I decided to do one more ACL update for you guys and I decided to do it now because I feel like it doesn't really matter if I do it now in February which is my two year um, since surgery update if it's going to make a real difference in how I feel. So let's just get it over with. I know you guys have missed talking about my ACL so let's get right into it first thing how i'm feeling after two years or 20 months 22 months whatever um i am feeling like um i'm living a normal life again kitties kitty i set my camera on i do this to myself i set my camera up on their like kitty condo because it's just as tall as me and um then they start scratching on it every time. Like, they don't care to scratch on it when I'm not filming. But if I'm filming, it's time, to, it's time to scratch some claws. I can't complain. I feel pretty normal. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm back to my normal life. I don't really walk around with a, a limp anymore. Or it's not even a real limp. But, like, the kind of limp that you get when you're afraid to put a lot of pressure on your leg. When you're just... Um, you know kind of babying it I don't really get that anymore so pretty pretty normal um, as you guys have been watching me I've been able to exercise as normal for the most part there's nothing I can't really do um, except for tr running on treadmills and um, running in general still does not feel good and I know that I'm supposed to be able to run like normal now but I'm not, and I don't know exactly what to do about that. Um, clearly, I need to go visit my doctor again, and maybe once I do visit him, I'll do another update, but that's the one thing I'm really disappointed about um, after getting ACL surgery two years ago is that I still can't run without pain. Um, the next thing, can I get back to sports? So I 100% think that I can't get back to sports at this point. Like I said, running sucks. So I don't know how um, how effective I would be at sports. I'm definitely not playing football anymore. I'm so sorry to anybody who was a fan of that or who wanted to see me back on the field. On the other hand, when I got my coaching certification, just being in that course and talking about track and field like really reinvigorated my love for track and field. I mean, check it out, check it out on the sleeve even. Yes. I love track and talking about some of the events that I used to do um, if you don't know I did the heptathlon so that is you ready for it 100 meter hurdles 200 800 long jump javelin shot put and a high jump so um, out of those seven I definitely want to be able to run the 200 which 200 meters of running God bless us all I want to do the hurdles silly as well and um the third one which i think is going to be the one that's most plausible for me actually two more yes um high jump and javelin are things that i want to revisit um so i've been kind of seeking out like some adult track league and when i start that part of the journey if i do decide to go ahead and jump into that no pun intended no pun intended i will um take you guys along on that journey but I'm excited to be competitive again. And um, if worst comes to worst, then I'll just be competitive in weightlifting or something. I don't know. But sports are definitely a possibility for you. Um, most people get right back to their sports. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm just ready to get going again because mom is getting a little bit bored. Do I still use my brace? Um, no. I haven't used my brace in, I would say, about three months now. Um... I just, first of all, my brace doesn't fit anymore. My thighs have grown, <laughs> so it's not a comfortable fit anymore, and I would have to get it resized, and that costs something, and I just don't, I don't think I need it bad enough for me to go pay f to get it resized or remade or anything, so I'm just not bothering with it. However, I do have a knee sleeve that I'm going to start using, um, I think I need a, a touch of stability when I am um, running and when I'm lifting heavy from below the waist. So um, that will be going into effect soon. Um, but no more 
Dawn Joy brace for the moment. I will probably revisit that when it's time to do sports again. And um, something that's really important um, for athletes, especially who get ACL surgeries, is am I afraid of injury again? At this point, I'm not. I'm not afraid of getting re-injured. I think that's something that, especially in the beginning stages, you are totally afraid of. Every step, you're like, oh no, I might do it again. If that, is that a pothole? I can't do it, can't stand it. So um, it is a, a real fear, but it's not something that haunts me right now. I don't think about it, um, and I don't think that I'm gonna get re-injured anytime soon. So it's not really that big of, um, a concern for me right now and uh, fun fact a lot of people when they get re-injured it's not on the same knee it's on the other knee um, and I I'm assuming that's because of um, you're using your other leg more than the previously injured leg and um, therefore there was a minute there where my left leg was really sore around my knee and so I just took the pressure off of it and I was just like I gotta use my right leg more and I need to get this imbalance out the way so I, I worked a little bit harder um, and I also got some um, work done um, to get that uh, fixed as far as myofascial release and um, you know working on imbalances especially in my glutes that's where I, I held mostly imbalance my left glute was a lot more Oh, it was definitely overactive compared to my right glute, which was underactive. So, you know, I'm still working on getting those balanced um, so that I don't have a re-injury in the other knee. So, um, I will show you some clips here. Um, if you haven't watched my other videos or if you're new to the channel, welcome, first of all. But I just want you to see, like, what my range of motion looks like. Um, with my knees, so I'm going to show you some like just various clips from some of my past workouts um, where I am using a higher range of motion, some um, deeper squats um, with weight. Um, I will tell you that none of this um, I was in pain with. Um, none of the exercises I'm showing you now, I experienced pain while doing them. I will say though, after I work out the next day, there is no uh, swelling or anything, but there is a touch of in inflammation um, around the joint, and I just have to take it a little bit easy. The next day, I'm not, it's not very comfortable to even just walk around or stand on it for the entire day like I'm used to at work. So, um, so yeah, that's the only downfall to, it's only, it only happens on days where I lift heavy, but that is the only downfall I would say um, as far as that. So, so yeah, I, hey, at the end of the day, I feel good, I feel great, and I, I am 100% glad that I got the surgery. Um, if I didn't get surgery, I'd definitely be way worse off than what I am today. And I know people who opt not to get the surgery, um, some people are okay with it, most of those people are not athletes. People who are athletes uh, regret it every day that they didn't get the surgery sooner or at all. So yeah, I would say the cats are coming back to scratch, so let me just end the video. <laughs> um, thanks again for watching. Um, if you guys wanna uh, see where my ACL journey began, I will link the playlist for my ACL surgeries up here somewhere and um, check those out and get more of the story of how it happened and what it felt like after six months a year all that good stuff um, if you want a tutorial on the brace that's also on the playlist and if there's anything that I've missed or that you want to know more about um, comment down below and I will try to answer all of your questions. I will say this disclaimer, I am not a doctor, so I can't diagnose you. I have had someone inbox me and, tr and send me pictures and they want to know what was wrong with their knee. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, the knee is a tricky, tricky joint and it could be a thousand different things wrong or nothing at all. You can just might have a sore knee day. Um, so I cannot diagnose, but I will try to help you the best way I can. If you have some questions about, hey, I just had surgery, what now? I would love to help. Um, so yeah, then the, more, the cats are back again. So I'm going to end the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And like and share with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next one. But not an ACL video. Unless something else happens. But this is it, guys. We're done. Who was all you? I mean, love, boy, I just know.